What's up everyone? My name is Alex. I'm one of the co-founders of MyInvestingClub.com. If you are brand new to trading or are curious about trading at all, I want to let you guys know about a free two-hour mentorship course that I put together with my mentor, Bao. It is available at MyInvestingClub.co. The link is going to be right here. This is a free webinar with limited seating every week, so please click on the link and reserve your spot before the time runs out. Also, a special bonus for all of our viewers on YouTube. So if you guys have any questions about MIC or you're curious about joining or uh, you don't know if MIC is the right fit for you. Uh, you can now text Tosh, who is one of our head mentors and head moderators at MIC, and he'll answer any questions you have about MIC. His phone number will be in the link in the description, and it'll also be right here. Thank you guys for watching, and enjoy the video. Hey, what's up, guys? It's Tom Dizon here. Uh, welcome to another weekly video, and um, I hope you guys had a great weekend this week. Today, I really want to talk about a pretty important topic as well, which is, uh, you know, our habits, uh, our bad habits. And here is uh, the quote that I really like a lot. It's from Bao Twitter, like a really long time ago. I, I can't remember when. Just said here, it's the first time you make a mistake and it, it's a, an accident. The second time you make, uh, you know, it's on purpose. And the third time you make, you know, that same mi mistake, it's no longer a mistake, but it's a habit. And I think it's so true in many ways. If we just keep repeating the same mistakes over and over again, I mean, that's that's our choice, right? I mean, that's our habit, you know, in a way. And uh, so that's why I want to talk about that today. I think that's basically the main thing what we are struggling right now at least is what i'm struggling right now uh you know myself i mean that's you know happening like almost every single day to me when I'm, like i'm over trading or like a uh, fomo uh, fear of missing out and uh, you know greed ego or like convictions on so on like trade like i didn't focus on my process but more like pnl i was shaken by you know a move since i was in too big so i'm i'm just uh gonna go over that and uh, and talk about each one for you guys uh, to have at least an idea you know uh, what you're dealing with or how you can you know overcome that or like uh, you know solve that problem and um, so let's get on to it um, all right so first it's over trading I mean uh, I'm, I'm doing it <coughs> like like not every day but it's like uh, sometimes it just uh you know i get to the point that uh, i think i didn't make enough and it's like uh, my greed kick in and right and and it was like uh, i was uh up like i don't know a few hundred bucks uh, in the first uh 30 or 40 minutes at the open and and w when i'm done with the trade and i said to myself Man, that's not you know good enough, right? I j I need to get in something. I mean, I, I I just need something more. So I was looking for another trade, just to be able to make a little bit more to satisfy you know my greed. But it turns out to be you know like it 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 really turned out to be even worse. So uh, that's I mean that's over trading, right? usually you take uh, you know lesser trades uh it, it it's like <clears throat> it's like you you kind of trade on fly more <clears throat> like uh you just think whatever <clears throat> uh it moves and uh, you just uh, basically jump in you know the trade right away and and you you didn't even uh, you know think about the setup uh, you know at that time because your head I think it's not clear I think my head is, is not clear when when usually when I'm over trading is when I don't make enough or like I'm red on the day or like I can want to revenge trade and those are you know the times when I'm over trading a lot and so how you can uh, you know improve that or how you can you know uh get that out of, of 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 the system i mean i mean it's not easy but i think you know there are some ways that uh, you can uh actually can help you to reduce that and first of all you need to have a playbook right or like 
I said here an edge. Like you need to know what you're looking for. And if you know what you're looking for, you're not going to over trade, right? Because uh, you have some certain setups, you have some certain strategies uh, that you stick in daily. And if it doesn't come, you're not going to make a trade. And that will cause, you know, less, uh, you know, trading, uh, like a trade on the fly kind, kind of thing. <coughs> and I think that, uh, you know, helps me a lot. Also is um, tabs. It's like trading accountability, uh, little uh, you know buddies. Um, and here is an example. I have James. Uh, whenever you know we done by ten thirty, and I'm still around and trading, he's gonna slap me, right? Or he's gonna I don't know, kill me maybe, <laughs> burn my house down. And uh, so help you know have someone to kind of help you, like or like to tell you. Hey, hey, listen, bro. I mean, you know, after zombie, what, what, what are you still doing here, right? Why are you still trading? And, and someone like uh, to snap or like to slap you at that moment, uh, you know, to for you to get out, uh, you know, and not kind of uh, try to open any more trades. And I, I think it's 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 really helpful. To have someone like that, you know, trading beside you, and uh, and when you're not in the right mood, or when you're not in like I don't know, trading in the zone, like you're not in the zone, and you need someone to kind of snap you out of that, right? And like, hey, listen, bro, I mean, you know, this is not a good time to make a trade. It doesn't matter, you know, what's set up, but now is not a good time. You shouldn't be trading at all. You know, get out. You know. If you down, just turn off the computer and just walk away, right? I told, I think tabs is uh, very important, and also I think like uh, I don't know, talk to yourself or, or like self talk. You can talk to yourself about that. Uh, you know, after that, uh, self talk. Like uh, you know. Just talk to yourself. Uh, I mean, when the day is done, you over trade it, right? You done already, but then you have to look back and what you don't, you know, did did wrong here. I mean, or next day you could upload your trade and see why you traded the way you did. Because you know you have to kind of analyze that to see if that matches your setup or matches your strategy. If not, that's outside of the edge, right? What the heck you still doing that? Or it's like, why are you trading, you know, so much shares? Or like, are you trading during zombie or after zombie? You know, it's just, you know, just have a self-talk, talk to yourself. And I think that's that's a good way to, uh, to be able to realize what you did wrong here. And I think usually we're not going to realize it in the moment. But on the next day, when you see those trades, you just, I mean, it happens to me and, and, and it kind of happened to me. And, and when I look back at those trades and I was talking to myself, I, man, I'm, I mean, oh, man, it's like really stupid, right? All right, guys. So I hope it helps today. I hope you enjoy the video and I think have a good weekend. Uh, I'll see you next time then. Peace. Thank you so much for watching our video. If you want to see more of our videos, please subscribe to our YouTube channel by clicking the button here. We do our best to post a new video every single day. If you have any questions about MIC or any general trading questions, please text Tosh using the number here. Also, stay up to date by watching some of our most recent videos right over here.